morning everybody. This is our fifth in a series of handicapping tutorials. We're trying to get you to think like a handicapper. We've, we've talked about a few things that the handicappers look at, narrow in the field, and then you continue narrowing it by you looking at other factors. In this, in this particular tutorial, we're going to talk about uh, the jockey and the horse's lifetime record. Now once we've determined that our horse is kind of running at the right level and belongs there and kind of at the right distance, um, we want to look at the jockey. And there's two things you want to see. Either one, A, you want to see the same jockey has been riding the horse regularly. That's always a good sign. Or two, we have an upgrade in jockeys. One of the top riders at your racetrack is um, aboard for the first time. When a, uh, when a top rider takes a mount, um, they usually, in order to draw a top rider, they have the trainer and the connections have to convince this rider this horse has a good chance to win. So um, look at your know who your top riders are in your circuit and if you see a top rider taking over on a horse that's always a good sign. And the next thing um, we're going to talk about is the horse's lifetime record. Um, it, when you handicap, you're trying to narrow down to one horse, we're trying to find the winner of the race. We want to show, see, we want to pick a horse that shows he knows how to win. So um, just as a minimum, um, in the upper right hand part of the past performances you can see the horse's lifetime record. And we want to see the horse is winning at about 20% or one out of five races. So if the horse has had 10 lifetime races, we want to see at least two wins. Um, so those things taken into consideration, hopefully that will help you narrow it down to one horse and your horse will be in the winner's circle. Thank you and we'll talk to you next time.